Welcome back, everyone. It's time for Bellatro. So I've been playing a little bit uh, off of the channel, and the game's really fun. And I think we're at the point where I'm ready to try and... Ignore that. I'm ready to try and get up the stakes a little. So I have one on white stake with every deck I have unlocked. And I do want to unlock these decks, because one of the plans was to unlock all of the decks, at least all of the decks presented here on the channel. These might be all the decks in the game, I don't know. I'm guessing so. But as you can see, they involve going up the stakes. Now these aren't all the difficulties in the game. As you can see, there's, what is this, nine pips? Eight pips next to me, and there's two, five difficulties presented? Yeah. So, we do have to start somewhere, because in order to unlock the next one, you have to unlock the one before it. But I can do it with any deck, because I have the white stake beaten on all the decks. So that kind of means we can start wherever we want. And I don't know if I'm going to go between decks or just try and win with one deck that I really like. But I figured I would start with the deck I like, which is actually the Amanda deck. I think this deck creates really interesting runs. Also, your deck is naturally smaller, so I think it is relatively powerful. But mostly it's... Hang on a second. Mostly it's... Uh, I find the, like, builds really interesting. So, we'll run with this for a little, but as we win, if we want to go up the ante, so we have to keep winning with the same deck. Otherwise, if we want to swap decks, we have to win on that one. So, this might be a short series of just winning with one deck up the stakes. Or it might be significantly longer as we try and win... Uh, with different decks across different stakes because we get stuck. We'll find out. But uh, skip skip seems pretty good here. I do have to win, but if I win, my entire shop is free and has a rare joker. So seems okay. At least as far as starting points go. I do you want to play this full house? Nope, I had a five. I no longer have a five. That'll do. Uh, that's not enough to win, but who gets us close? It does not get us close. I lied. Uh, I can play this other end of the straight, actually. Much better. Oh yeah, I guess this particular boss blind and stake, you would sometimes run out of cards in your deck because you're discarding and drawing a bunch. I've never run out of cards. I think what happens is you die. <laughs> So, oh my goodness, it doesn't come recommended. This is a really interesting start to this run, though. So, we're going to use this. The planet cards aren't really worth selling. They're only worth a dollar. And I think especially early game, it's worthwhile just going for it. Blueprint is among the most powerful jokers in the game, but I don't have any other joker. <laughs> Which is the time where Blueprint is not very good. I think... Like, I would love a straight flush build, but I'm going to just buy this two pair because I think it's much safer. This nine looks pretty good. Could build something around that nine. Wasteful's not bad, but it's going to be the voucher of the entire ante. I think I actually need a joker. Because right now, like, I have to clear these blinds. Not these blinds, the next ones. I have to clear these blinds with... Nothing. Wow. That's actually kind of savage. This isn't that good. In fact, this doesn't do anything currently, but... Alright, I have to win... Oh. Oh! Can I ever beat this? I don't think I can ever beat this. As much as I would love... You know what? Let's try it. I don't think I can win. But I want to try... Because if I can, the run's going to the moon. If I lose, which is the expectation, it's over for me. But I'm down to try something a bit more aggressive. Now, if we are going to do this, I'm going to need to play probably straight flushes. Probably two of them as well, which is kind of gross. Yeah, it's only worth 800 points. In fact, two straight flushes is exactly 800 points. Sorry, it's exactly 1,600 points. It's 800 points twice. Three, four of a kinds would also do it. 
I guess I have buffed full house. Buffed full house is also pretty good. So with that in mind, I guess I need to play, keep all of one suit and I have mostly clubs. So this is a stray. This is only worth, that's nothing. So I think the plan is, ooh, forgot about these nines. This nine might get us there. Need six, seven, eight. Need an eight. I need exactly an eight of clubs. How much is this flush worth? 35 times 4 times 1.5. That's not enough either. Yeah, it's literally just the 8, right? This ace could also go. Oop. Air isn't bad. I need this 10, though. Like, I really need this 10. I don't need this four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the low end of the straight. This isn't worth it right now. I mean, I think we just stick to the plan. It's not the best plan ever, but it was never the best plan ever. Eventually, I just hope it's enough, I guess. I don't even think it's enough to win. Yeah, the eight. The eight will complete the hand. I don't think the eight will win, though. Oh, we didn't hit? That feels bad. So close. Where's my... It's in there, right? Yeah, it's the last club in the deck. I mean, this flush is higher than the other one. Let's move this over here. I don't think this is enough. I don't even know if the straight was enough. Hmm. That was interesting. I actually don't hate that approach. It was very... Uh, I want 10 bucks. I think I want the money. It was very aggressive, but it might have worked. I think hitting two straight flushes, if that's, I guess thinking about it, I needed a full house and a straight flush with the polychrome nine. I think that was enough. Two straight flushes seems really hard, which was the original calculation. And that seems, even for this deck, that seems pretty ambitious with no help at all. Uh, we are back on straight flush territory, though. Instead, we just have regular straight. That's fine. That was not as many as I thought it was going to be. How many hearts do I have left? Enough. I think... Well... I think this is fine. Need a decent amount of points. How many eights do I have left? Two. It's decent. Uh I don't need this five. This is twenty times two. This is a lot more than that. I think this is enough. Oh. Okay. Back in business. This is good, but a little expensive. Can maybe buy it later in the ante. 
I have no face cuts. I was like, is this good? No, it is not good. I'll buy this. No jokers again. Well, if we are trying to find straight flushes, don't mind making... Well, is committing to a suit better? I think if I'm trying to make as many straight flushes as possible, committing to a suit is probably better. So let's just commit to hearts, because that was the first tarot we hit. And with that in mind, we're going to open this. I have a fool. I also hit another sun. That's pretty good. Uh, four, five, six, sure. All right, now we have a decent number of hearts. Still don't know. I think I can win this stake. Seven, eight. I guess all of the non-hearts just get thrown away. Need a 10. Play this ace, I think. I don't know if this is good. It wasn't great. There is a bunch of fives. There are no more eights left. There's no threes left either. Huh. That's the other thing though. Uh, do you have to look at your deck a lot if you're trying to build straight flushes? That was not that many points. Uh, a straight flush would win though, right? Which I did know, because I know it's worth 800 points, because we did this calculation in the last run we lost. Imagine if we could have applied that concept here. Maybe two full houses is the angle? The wheel's not going to be that good. I think I may have just thrown this run away. Which is a shame. I think stuff was happening. But now I think can't make it. Could be enough. Nope. Nope. Click the wrong button also. A double fail. Alright. So I didn't mention it yet, but uh, in this stake... The small blind isn't worth any money, which is annoying. Mostly just means you want to like one shot KO all the small blinds with as many available hands as possible because that leaves you with uh, enough money from your hands. It's like the only way you make money in this stake. I don't think this is enough. It is not. It's okay. More full houses. Oh, Rana seems pretty good here. Overstock's also good. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to afford it. I think it's a different voucher now, fortunately. Yeah, because when you beat the boss blind, the ante goes up, so the voucher changes. I've never th thought about it, but that does make sense. Uh... Need... No, I need this ace, actually. Nice. <laughs> Good enough. Don't know. I think this is good enough. I don't think I should ignore this. That was good enough. Okay. It seems good. Let's buy this. Let's buy this. 
Oh, I love this Joker. I don't know if I have the support for it. Go just buy Devious Joker. It's a little lame, but I think it's probably the best thing to do. Old cards are good. I think an extra Joker is good. Hack is good. Buy this. I mean, I will buy this, but I can't buy it right now. I have to use tarot cards. I guess Wild Ace is good. And we have a straight. So we just want to play as many straights as... Excuse me, as many straights as possible for runner. And we have good base chips. We're building other base chips. Hack also triggers a ton. So we could just play the wheel as our strategy. Base 2, 3, 4, 5. I do want to buy seed money, but I don't think I can afford it yet. Job was also pretty good. Maybe I should buy this and Juggler. This being money would have been good too. I will make... I'll make these cards, mold cards. Because I think we are going to try and play as many wheels as possible. I'm gonna just say okay to the next round. I think we just play the wheel. I'll play these. This seems fine. Oh, oh, not quite a straight flush. Close though. Nice. This will keep us going for a little bit. Hopefully we can get enough econ to scale this fortune teller. Feels like kind of where we're at. Campfire is really good. I think I would rather get a random tarot card than buy this chariot. Definitely is a good choice. Chaos the Clown. That's pretty good. Nothing. Alright. So now we got to build money. Which might be kind of tricky. Oh, keep this ace for sure. Sort by rank. Oh, this is sort of by rank. Into four. Nice. Uh, wrong five. Yeah, all the bonus cards will trigger hack more too. Which does play into the tarot card stuff, right? Because the tarot cards make my two, three, fours, and fives better than every time I play a wheel. It's happy times. Consumable slot. That is good, but I do need to make some money. Scholar versus Chaos the Clown. I think I'm okay with Scholar for now. Banana? Banana's pretty good. Closer to sell it and make money. Now hitting a tarot card here feels pretty bad. I don't think I need banana. Maybe I lied. Maybe I do need banana. I'm gonna play this blind at least. Huh. Well, whatever. I think I'm selling this for the interest. Nice. You need another multiplier, basically. Like, obviously, this needs to get bigger, but it will. Aw. Oh. Imagine if that said straight. Didn't hit. The thing I needed to hit, by the way. How much? I think that made enough to one-shot the needle. I'm just going to go for it. Well, with this five... We should be good to go. Need a two... Oh, 
That's bad. I need to. Mailed it. I think this is enough. It's gonna have to be. Nice. It was. We're definitely hitting the break point though of this current setup. Oh, they're both negative. Interesting. Chaos the Clown came back, by the way. I didn't make spades. No, I actually do have spades. Never mind. Tarot cards appearing more frequently is also very good. I think I have to buy both of these. They seem a little too good. Wild card? Yeah, wild card's good. Wild cards are also spades. These give more chips. I have lots of chips. Just need more malt. I think we can play this straight, because also making runner better is good. And then if we can convert things to spades eventually, that will be good, but... Not an immediate concern of mine. Guess I keep the spade. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, these hands are getting not as good. I kind of need to get bailed out, like, now. I'm not getting bailed out. Sells for $6. Had a whole plan to make Econ and then just, like, didn't use it. Golden Joker? Golden Joker's okay. Might be better than Arrowhead. Just, that seems like a wild thing to say. No, there's no way. Let's go next, I think. There's a world where I sell, but I just don't think that makes any sense. Seems fine. I guess straight flushes are good. But they're not exactly the easiest things to hit. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't make this a straight flush. I don't even think that's going to be that much. Because the flat malt is so low. How many fives do I have left? Three. I can go again. I think this hand is worth playing. Did hit. Runner is... Like scaling, right? Runner scales with all your hands, even though it only scales when you play straights. I just need like one malt. One source of extra malt. And I think we're Gucci. I really want to buy this tarot merchant. Don't have any face cards. Didn't I just see this joker? I think I have to buy this now. My money is just never getting there. I think I'm dead. That's how I feel. I feel dead. Oh, we had to discard it too. That was bad. Keep the hut. Get a four. Keep the hut again. Found the four. Can't make... Can I make a straight flush, actually? No, I'd have to make two different cards. I'd have to make two different cards. Wild, which I can't do. I can only make one. Oof. Not the best. Uh, how many threes and fives are left? Two and two. I mean, we have to just play what hands we have. We have this pair. Not the best. Not the worst. Oh, I need a three. Shh, what three is left? Spades and diamonds. Okay, so I can't make a straight flush. I think runner's gonna just get us there. 
when I play this last wheel. But it's going to be close. And we're very obviously at a point where the current setup is not scaling enough. Wait, what? That wasn't enough? Bruh. I'm getting... I'm getting scammed by me. I think skipping here is always more money than not skipping. But I'd have to check on that. Again, as we've kind of shown, my math is maybe not the strongest. It is a lot of sixes. Three nines left. I don't need the ten. But that's fine. Hit the other end. <laughs> Interesting. I think we have to buy this. But then what? <laughs> kind of hope that like these are good enough. I think we open one. Okay, make some tarot cards. Sure. Wheel. Yikes. Steel cards. Not bad. That wasn't great. Hmm. We're gonna get there, I think. How many sixes do we have? Two. Oh no, we didn't get there. <laughs> no. Yeah. Is that enough? Oh. Damn. Getting absolutely club at this run. Well, these runs, I should say. Um, I think, especially given the boss blind, I think it is actually good. You know what? Let's just shoot for the moon. All of the hearts. I'll play this. Where's my six of hearts? In there somewhere. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I mean, oh, never mind. I was like, I didn't hit, and then I did hit. All right, good start economically. What do we have? To show for it. Okay, we definitely have to open this. Superposition is fine. I think it's actually better than Joker. They're not, neither of them are great though. So we're back to building wheels again. I'll buy this. I think I have to roll. That was good. I think I will buy this Jupiter. I think I roll again though. That is decent. I mean, it's a little, it's a little ambitious. What we're doing here? Oh, Mega Buffoon Pack. Well, these are good actually. <laughs> So I do want to play 
wheels again. So we can just discard these. Could have played them, I guess, but... Now we make another straight. Do I want to ride the bus? Actually, isn't ride the bus, like, the best joker for this deck? I think so. I think I'm down to throw popcorn away. But yeah, I think Ride the Bus is actually just the best joker in, the de in this deck. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Hanged Man. Uh, everything that isn't possibly building wheels. I will delete. Now, I could strength to make a three here. Seems a little weird, because I do make it harder to make this hand in the future. I thought it wasn't that much. Did make a hermit, though. Need a four. Six. Six of clubs is gone. Is the four of clubs still live? It is. Ooh. That's exciting. Six, seven, eight, nine is almost a hand. I'll play this, I guess. Oh, yeah. I guess playing hands rides the bus. Which is good. I forgot that playing hands rides the bus. Don't think I want to make a glass card. Seven, eight, nine, ten is in the hand. I can just fish for a diamond, right? I only have one diamond left. Guess I just do well two pairs enough here, right? Yeah, should be enough. Wait, is it enough? Oh it was, okay. I thought so. <laughs> Did want to save the hermit for this reason. Didn't even think about it fully, but my brain had me covered. Three straights. How good is Supernova? I think Supernova is not that good. Don't need this. Oh, I should have sold this too. Whatever. I don't think I missed too much. Straight is my most played hand, right? Yes. And I did buy a telescope, right? Yes. Yes. All right. We have a plan. I'll buy this buffoon pack. Burglar? Burglar seems decent. Devious Drake also seems pretty good. I really want a ceremonial dagger to go with this roof raff. But might be too late already. It takes a long time to scale that Joker. Devious Joker. I think Devious Joker is actually necessary. There's an argument that Burglar is just better. Do I care about... I think I do care about superposition. Because I'm trying to play this hand a lot. So this will only make one joker, but I think that's okay. Photograph. Useless. This is enough on its own. Doesn't make a tarot card, but I think that's okay. Nice. Okay. I think we've made some decent choices. Oh, it's the thing again. By Chaos. By these two Celestial Packs. We're pretty committed to straights now. Which is fine. Do you want to buy the blank voucher? Yeah, that's really bad. Dusk is okay. I never know at what point to abandon Riff Ref. I'm buying it. Uh, I never know what point to abandon Riff Ref. And just be like, okay, I need actual cards now. Oh, the wall might be tricky. Like, this is kind of an econ. Is that enough to win? I think it is enough to win. I guess I can do math quickly. 
120 times 10, that's 1200 plus 100. That looks like enough to win. Okay, I'm going to assume it is, and I'm going to just ride the bus a little. I haven't quite been riding the bus properly. I definitely do want to play. Well, the problem is this actually makes it harder for you to hit telescope. So it's not free to ride the bus, but I think it's important. Okay, that effortlessly one shot that. I'm opening both of these. Don't think I care about hearts, do I? Maybe. Straight flushes are good. They are straights. Although they're not straights for the purpose of this. Maybe I don't care, actually. I'm just gonna make my wheel cards good. Money? Kind of. Hanged Man isn't bad. Is it better than $9? I think so, actually. Drawing a little more live is important. Don't think I'm beating the wall. Well, that's not bad. I think it might be refresh time to be done. Death is a weird card to make good in this deck. Like this. So play this pair. He triggers the first card. Again, riding the bus is good. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. Sure. It's a straight. Good enough. Didn't make a tower, but that's okay. Juggler is pretty good. I think I'm going to say goodbye to Refref. I think we've hit decent enough jokers to want to commit to them. And we are committed to regular straights, not straight flushes. But I think this level 6 satin is good enough. We'll make some tarot and we'll see. I don't know how good this is. I actually don't know how hard this is either. 7, 8, 9, 10. Just gonna discard the how many things can I hit? Six is seen ace now. And I guess I just play it. Interesting. Maybe I just play this nine. There aren't that many cards. Triggers again. Yes. That's good to trigger again. Nice. All right, that was easy enough. This glass card's now actually good, I think. It was probably good before too, but... Um, is this good enough? Might be good enough. Juggle is good, but I don't think it's as good as the other card. I think we're at a point where, like, it's not exciting to me what we're doing, but I think it's going to win. And that in and of itself is somewhat exciting as a concept. That seemed like a really good hit. Also do this. Let's make, make fives glass. Or two. Making something else. Oh, making something else a three is good, right? Uh, sorry, making something else a two 
is good. Because I don't have enough twos. Keep this nine, I guess. Because it's the thing I'm going to make it to. Play this. Yeah. Play this pair. I keep forgetting I don't have the top end of the straights available to me. Need a two. It's actually pretty hard for me to hit a two. Nice. Uh, left card becomes the right card. I think in that case, seven. Yeah. Looks a bit silly, but it makes the number of twos in my deck normal again. Which, given that I'm only playing ace 2 3 4 5 uh, seems pretty important. This hand is among the best hands I could possibly play. Nice. Again, we have these spades, but I don't think that's the angle we're taking. Jumbo Celestial. All that overstock, too. I think we can just barely... Eek out a win from here. 10 4. 10 4 is not great. Keep the world just in case, I guess. Negative Joker. I'm so greedy. I feel like I've skipped so many antis. 5, 6, 7. This is. That was good. It was a straight. Which I guess. Doesn't actually matter because we don't have runner. Greedy Joker? Sure. So now the. Now the. The card that makes uh, diamonds is good. Like the tarot card that makes diamonds. I'll sell this, I think. By this spectral pack. Oh, interesting. That's not bad, actually. What would I want to replace it? Superposition, maybe? I think I'm done with superposition. It does waste $2. Wow, that is absurd. <laughs> okay. That should be good enough. That is ridiculous. What the hell? This gave me the best, like, rare joker for what I'm playing? That seems... Like... Obviously good, but it seems kind of, it seems like a little too rigged, you know? Now, I actually think I miss playing, which maybe I will correct soon. That is good. I'm going to buy this, and then I should have enough money to buy the other thing, uh, the paintbrush. Later. But, so, the reason I've been misplaying is that I should actually be playing hands. Not only does it make Acrobat better, but uh, I do need to ride the bus. I'm going to use this Gloss 5. Play this one. Yeah, just checking that was a straight. Believe it or not. Yeah, I haven't been riding the bus hard enough. Which, if you know anything about riding the bus, that's wrong. Because you just want to click this as many times as possible. Yeah, that seemed pretty good. Alright, that should win... <coughs> Excuse me. That should win uh, the rest of... Oh, that doesn't do anything. Yikes. That should win the rest of the hands from here on out. And I'm going to be broke. Because I don't make any extra money. Uh, without interest, and you don't make money on small blinds, and I didn't have any hands left. All the things, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Uh, that might win, actually. Yeah, it did. All right, well, I think this actually was the thing that got us over the edge, but what a strange run we've been on. Runner is good here. I would argue that it's 
Actually, I wouldn't even argue. I think it is just better than Hanging Chad. This is like very similar to what we tried to do before, but I think we just high rolled a little more. Which, honestly, that's valid true sometimes. Uh, I can't play that five, that extra two, so I won't. I did hit... Oh, this actually might kill me. That's a four. Need an ace. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to play. Because I don't know how many extra hands I might need to play. Alright, never mind. Never worried. The Serpent always... Uh, always better than it looks. And it kills. It gets close to killing me more often than I'd like to admit. I think we just keep rolling. Plus three hand size. Both base cards are debuffed. Sounds good to me. I mean, how can you not click on this? I'm trying to ride the bus. This is fine. I think it's worth playing these hands. I think a dollar versus a malt. I think the malt's actually more valuable. I have two interest already, so it's not like I'm getting nothing from these hands. Nice. Yeah, I think every straight should win every remaining hand I can have. 14 extra malt. That's like, well, it's not that much. It's not better than Ride the Bus, but. Oh yeah, diamonds. I forgot diamonds were valuable. I don't think that matters to me. Two. Oops, forgot to play the 10. Whatever. It's two, three, four. See this. The bus has been ridden. It's one of those things where like some of the min maxing and Valtro can get a little a little eh. But it does make a difference, especially as you go up in stakes. I should have been riding the bus much more than I was, but we had fun, didn't we? I like these. There's only one card I can destroy. That's kind of lame. I mean, I will destroy it, but... That's not as fun as it could be. This is also one of the... One of the worst. Have I played... I'm actually, yeah. I need to maybe play high cut a little less. Well, whatever. It's not like my... not like my I was thinking about it for telescope for the celestial packs but it's not like my straight isn't a high enough level at this point so maybe it doesn't matter uh wasteful is not bad I can wait though spades this is still hearts right no this is diamonds bonus cards I'll make these bonus cards that's too many cards to. Again, if my deck was only aces and fives, ace, two, three, four, five, then I would be happy. It's kind of the point I'm trying to get to. I think Violet Vessel gets one shot. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Playing pair is good here too. Oh, I played a four I didn't mean to play. That's bad, actually. I guess I'll play this glass five. Hope it doesn't break. Bus has been ridden. Yeah, between Acrobat and the Order, I think every straight just goes to the moon. It does. All right, we should be good. Don't think we have a lot of game in Endless, but I believe we have successfully beaten the stake at the regular antes. So that is cause for celebration. Uh, I'll keep this four, I suppose. Yeah, the bus has 
is now very large. Yeah, that's so much worse. I put the glass card in the wrong spot, but it doesn't really matter. I just need to not it to not break. Alt cards seems good. Steel card seems decent actually. Wait, it's less steel pack. Level up Saturn for the last time. And pop this. Temperance, sure. We are done, so we should find more stuff. Don't think we're going to find anything better than what we have, but we'll try. Oh, we're going infinite. Planet cards? I don't think that's better. Okay, we are done. Steel card. I'll make a steel card later. I'm a little bit scared that I don't have enough. So, to respect that, I'm going to do this. And give myself the opportunity to play another straight. Although I think this is like not quite enough to win. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, we did it. We unlocked the next deck. That took actually quite a while, but uh, that was fun. That was kind of a slog, honestly. We got hammered by the game, it felt like, and then got lucky and won, which honestly, kind of the Bellator experience in some ways. Maybe, maybe I will get better at the game over time, but honestly, maybe not because I don't really care. The vibes are good. Uh, thanks for watching. It's been a great time as always. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if that is something that you are motivated to do. Otherwise, just keep enjoying the content and thanks for hanging out.